And if you like this reading, please like um, or subscribe or leave a comment if you would like to. Um, I have everything ready as usual, so I'm going to start your reading as quickly as I can for lovely Virgo people. The first card you have for your past is um, the Seven of Pentacles. So, yes, I'm seeing you putting a lot of work. You're putting a lot of work into a situation. You're putting a lot of work into something to do with work. This could be um, this could be a project. Uh, it could even be a side business because I'm not seeing a normal nine to five job here. I'm seeing you're putting a lot of work into something, a lot of stress, a lot of effort. And um, you weren't seeing enough rewards. That's what I'm seeing. There are a lot of problems around this, a lot of logistical problems, a lot of problems with people. And um, I'm saying, you, you know, you weren't getting the rewards coming in for all your effort. You were realistic. You weren't um, expecting instant rewards. It's not like you're just sitting there doing nothing, expecting things to come in. Um, and, you know, you, you were putting in a huge effort, I'm seeing. And this happened over a reasonable amount of time, a long time, actually. But, you know, I'm just seeing that, you know, you were thinking about just giving up giving up. Um, you've tried just about everything at this time. At this stage, you've tried everything. And, you know, maybe you weren't quite ready to give up right at this time, totally. But you really were seriously thinking about it at this time, because I'm seeing you're just exhausted. You just put so much into this. You weren't getting support either. I'm seeing that. You felt all by yourself. And, you know, enough was enough. That's what I'm seeing with this card. The next card you have for your past, or you have for your past, is um, the Five of Swords. So yes, look at this. These people are walking away from this man. So this is you walking away. You might have just decided to um, just take up your things and walk off. You know, it doesn't matter what you put in. You might have just, well, too bad. I've lost it anyway. I'm going to just walk off. Um, and I'm seeing that also there could have been someone um, trying to maybe waste your time or get in the way or put some roadblocks in front of you or something like that. This was a time-wasting person or they weren't supporting you. They were actually saying they were going to support you, but they were doing the opposite. It might have been something like that. And um, I'm seeing that, you know, you had to actually fight this person a bit. They weren't doing what you wanted. And you just didn't have the energy anymore at this time. I'm seeing you were just too tired to fight for this anymore. And um, you're just exhausted. You just decided to walk. That's what I'm seeing. The next card you have your past is the star. So, yes, obviously, this is a very happy card. And um, you might not have made a final decision about finishing this project or this, you know, whatever this was. But, um, when you do, and I'm saying when, because I'm seeing that you probably will, if you haven't already at this time, um, you'll probably be very relieved. Very, very, very relieved. I'm seeing a lot of stress, and I'm seeing a lot of this stress is just going to fall away from you when you decide to walk away from this. Um, and yes, I keep on seeing all this time you've spent on this. You've spent so much time, so much effort on whatever this was. But now you'll just have that time um, to yourself. You're going to have a lot more freedom and um, not only more um, free time to yourself, but you're going to have this free freedom mentally, this kind of mental freedom. You're not going to have all this stuff in your head, all this stress in your head, all this kind of worrying. You're not going to be losing sleep over anything anymore. It's it's this fantastic freedom that you're going to feel. And it's going to feel like a breakthrough. It's going to feel like, you know, I resisted giving up all this time. I wanted to keep hanging on. But once you decide to do that, it's going to be a breakthrough and you're going to feel so much happier. Um, if you look at the child on this horse, um, they've broken through this wall. There's a wall, they've broken through and look how happy they are. Look how happy they are. That's going to be you or it might already be. It might have already happened. The first card you have your present is the Ten of Cups. So yes, happiness. Again, uh, you're probably going to definitely give up this. I'm seeing that you probably are. And if you haven't already, again. And... Um, 
you're just going to be so much happier or you are already so much happier this is in your present and um, I'm just seeing you be able to being able to spend more time with with family with friends with loved ones and even people who you might have lost touch with you might have lost connections with people because you were just so busy on this thing and even so stressed that you probably didn't even have the mental energy to deal with any people you're going to be connecting with people again at this time starting to contact um, a lot of people again this card is about I'm seeing um, finding happiness in um, things that money can't bring you. Now, there's nothing wrong with wanting money. There's nothing wrong with wanting financial stability or anything. like. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But you need a balance. And this is what's happening to you. This is a shift that's happening inside of you from following on from this project following business, following money, to just following other kinds of happiness and contentment. And I'm seeing, um, yes, the other thing I'm seeing with this card is um, a blended family. So if you're a single parent, you could be um, finding love with some um, another single parent, maybe. Um, they might be coming into your life at this time. Or it might be with someone who loves children. Um, but whatever this is, I am seeing someone coming into you if, if you are a single parent. Um, and um, whatever happens, um, you're going to have more time for love anyway. So this is going to be at the perfect time for you. Um, when you move on to this from this project, you're going to be able to pursue all of these things. You're going to have time for all of these other amazing pleasures that you just didn't have time for when you were doing this. The next card you have for present is the Five of Cups. So yes, this is disappointment and I'm seeing that um, there are some people who are um, involved in this project or this business thing or whatever this was that you were leaving behind or you are. Um, I'm actually seeing one specific person who might actually take um, you leaving very, very personally. Um, and they're going to be able to continue with this on their own. I'm not seeing that they're um, upset for practical reasons. They might think that it's personal. They might be feeling that you want to leave for personal reasons or that you don't like them or something like that. This person can be very sensitive, actually. This is the person I'm seeing that wasn't supporting you. They weren't supporting you. They weren't there for you. They weren't helping you. They were supposed to be, but they weren't. Now, they're just not very well organized, I'm seeing. And yes, they're very sensitive as well. So if you had any problems, um, and you wanted to talk to them, you couldn't talk to them properly because they were just so oversensitive. That's what I'm seeing. You will make up with this person. You will talk to this person again at some time in your future. Um, there's a bridge on this card. It's not broken. It's not burned. It's it's not going to run away. It's going to stay there. So you're going to go over this bridge and you're going to um, contact this person in time. But this is going to take a lot of time. This person's very um, upset with you. Uh, they think that you have some personal thing against them and it's going to take time for them to come around to you again. But yes, just let them be. Just let them take their time. The last card you have for your present is the tower. So yes, nobody likes to see the tower. And um, yes, I hope this is going to make sense. And um, again, I know I keep on repeating myself, but I just keep on seeing this business whatever this is um, that you're leaving and um, you weren't given everything you needed everything that you needed to do this work properly you um you might have had this is something to do with this person in the five of cups so even though you weren't taking it personally you weren't personally against them you were unhappy with the way that they were running things the way that they were doing things i keep on seeing that i was seeing that in the five of swords so I'm seeing that they weren't prepared to put enough um, to put enough in. It might have been money. They might have not put enough money in resources. They might have not put enough effort in or something like that. They were expecting you to put everything in, um, but you only had half of the resources. You weren't able to do your job properly. Um, this could have been something that's destined to fail because it was set up in a way that wasn't um, set up properly. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, this person just was not, they didn't have a head for this. They weren't, 
they weren't capable that's what i'm seeing and um, you were trying to do your job with this person who wasn't capable they weren't supporting you and it just had so many problems with it this is like whatever this was was on shaky foundations and i think this person knows this they knew this deep down they didn't want to admit it their pride was in the way and that's probably why um, they're taking this so personally th the fact that you're leaving this the first card you have for your future is the Three of Wands. So what I'm seeing with this card, this is obviously the card of waiting. So I'm seeing that you have your mind or you're going to still have your mind set on someone. I'm saying still because I'm seeing that you might have had your mind set on them for a long, long time. And you might have been wanting to hear from them. And you're still going to be like this at this time. Um, the man on this card he's um he's waiting for his ships to come in and um he's very patient he's very prepared um he's prepared to wait he's prepared to do whatever it takes to wait for them to come in because what he's waiting for is um something very precious to him um if you look at the sea that he's looking out to it's a golden sea um and it's so golden that it's lighting up the sky this whole card is very golden Gold is very, very, very precious. So whoever you're thinking about is very important to you. They're very precious to you. I am actually seeing that they're going to come back. They're going to come back and connect with you at some time. But, you know, if you're sitting back and you're letting them make the first move, I'm seeing that this is the right thing for you to do. This is the right thing because this person is... Um, I'm seeing that this person was actually in your last reading. They have a lot going on in their life. They're still going to at this time. And uh, they have a lot of quite serious things going on in their life. Um, as things that could be affecting them mentally. So you're right to leave it up to them. You're right to just leave them to make the first move. That's what I'm seeing. They will do this when the time's right. That's what I'm seeing. The next card you have for your future is the Four of Swords. So this could be about, um, sometimes this card's about resting. Sometimes this card's about, you know, having a really terrible situation with these swords and they just need to recover from something. I'm seeing that this could be about um, this person who you're waiting for. And, you know, they've been through a lot. I'm seeing that again. They're probably still going through a lot at this time. They're probably just exhausted. They're probably just trying to get over whatever this is. I'm seeing again that they might have some problems mentally um, because of what's going on. Something very serious might be affecting them mentally at this time, their mental health. This person just needs um, time, uh, but you're going to be patient. I'm seeing that you're going to be patient with this person. The last card you have for your future is the moon. So yes, this person's going to be just starting to come out of this um, really terrible time like this lobster. I don't know if you can see, I'll move that up. There's a lobster coming out of the water, coming out of a very emotional situation. And that's, uh, this lobster's representing this person. So they're coming out of this. They still have a big, long path ahead of them. They might be having nightmares. They might be having problems, but they are coming out of this. This is going to take time. I'm seeing that again, but they are heading upwards on this path and they are going to come up to connect with you again sometime um, in your more distant future, but you're going to have to wait for this. So don't sit around waiting. Don't look at your phone waiting. Um, wait for them, obviously, if that's what you want to do, because I see that you do see this as a very precious person to you. I've seen that in the Three of Wands. So if you are prepared to wait and that's what you're doing, yes, wait for them, but keep your mind occupied. Do other things in the meantime, because there are they are going to take their time. That's what I'm seeing. So, Fargo, I hope this resonated. Um, as you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But again, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you would like to. Thank you so, so much for watching.